Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be changing the gear lube in the lower unit on my 60 horsepower Mercury outboard. This applies to the 40, 50, and 60 horsepower Mercury outboard units. It's really, really simple. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open your container and get this set up so that in just a moment, you're ready to pump some fluid from this bottle into that lower unit. So I like to be careful and peel this metal away so it doesn't end up in my unit. All right, throw your pump on your bottle and set aside for the moment. We will come back to this in just a moment. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is trim your unit up and then bring it back down and have it about as flat as you can, um, level as you can in operating position. So all the, the uh, fluid that's in here right now is gonna drain out the very bottom. So we're gonna go around to the other side. You're just gonna need a flathead uh, screwdriver for this, kind of a medium, medium sized one and some paper towels handy. There we go. And here is as easy as it goes. So down here you have two vents, okay? You got vent number one right here, vent number two, you have a drain one right down here. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna pop those vent plugs off because we uh, could get a much bigger screwdriver. <laughs> Let's get a much bigger one. Do do, there we go. The vent plugs will allow the airflow to uh, drain the, the fluid out, so there we go. All right, pop this guy out. And as I do that, I'm gonna set these aside because I have new gaskets for them. And hopefully you guys can see okay. I feel like I should add more light. All right, here is one plug, perfect. What's up, my man? Careful you don't kick over any of the bottles or anything. Uh, second one. That's the oil from, from the motor. Pull off this second vent plug. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm servicing the boat. Can you do me a favor? Um, actually, I need, I need the flashlight that's there, and I need the little yellow gaskets that are up there. So come over here, no, come around here, from this side. There's the Duracell flashlight there. See the black stick one? See? Yep, that one. That? No, the black one, that, yep. And then there's three little yellow rings that look like this, but they're not on a, a bolt. They're sitting on the plastic up there, you see them? Yeah. yeah, grab all three of those and bring those down to me, please. Perfect, and set those right there. Thank you. These are the new gasket rings that we will replace. All right, sounds good, kiddo. Now, the two vents are out, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull this one here. When I pull this one, it is going to leak the actual fluid out, which is good, that's what we want. Get my screwdriver in there. This hasn't been serviced and, oh, that is yucky. That is overdue. Wow. That is very overdue. <laughs> that should be like a nice clear blue. So that tells you how bad this was and how, how badly it needed serviced. And it looks like there was some water or something in there to even change the color with it. So definitely overdue, but that's why we're doing it. Whew, the smell of it even smells rotten. Yikes. Well, now we just let it all drain out. Um, and then when it stops, we'll clean it up and we'll get to adding some oil back in. So stay tuned. Okay, so while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the gaskets on these bolts 
the uh, plugs, if you will. So you just take a flathead screwdriver, kind of work your way under there and get it, get it started. Nothing of the sort, so we're good. Pop the new ring on there, nice and clean, nice seal. Okay, so once you have all of your nasty, yucky fluids fully drained out of there, you're gonna go ahead and take your um, gear lube kit with the pump and use this little screw adapter that's on here and thread it into the bottom. Um, I'm going to clean up this little bit of drip that's left. I just did that off camera before and it was done. I was just trying to get all that nasty fluid out of there. So all you do here is just twist it on. It's a threaded insert. There we go. All right. So once you're all drained out, once you got all your yucky fluid drained out, you go ahead and you thread on your pump that you have hooked up to your new gear lube and you are simply pumping it. You can watch it come out of the tube here. There we go. And you can watch it go in to your lower unit and fill up all this nice new fresh blue fluid instead of the yucky, yucky nasty stuff. And what I'm watching for is it to come out of this first vent hole here, then I'll cap it, then I'll pump it until it comes out of the second vent hole and then I'll cap it. So it's gonna take just a little bit and I'm just watching this vent hole right here, waiting for fluid to start coming out of it. Oh, all right. Well, it's coming out of that first vent hole. So we'll go ahead and close that one up, and it's probably from the tilt of the motor. <coughs> but yep, every time I pump it, I got a little coming out, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and we'll put one of these caps back in there. And just be careful you don't drop it in your nasty oil down there, or gear case lubricant, I should say. And now that we have that capped off, and again, usually it comes out of this hole first if the engine is trimmed a little bit, but I will go ahead and continue to pump fluid in until it comes out of that other vent hole. Once it does that, I know it is full, and we will go ahead and put, there we go, I can see it coming out, perfect. And I'm just doing that. I'm actually trying to flush it a little bit because you saw how nasty the fluid coming out of there was. So I just want to make sure we get a proper cleanse out of there. There we go. Try to push any of that yucky fluid out of there and have clean gear case lubricant in there only. I'm just go ahead and replace this one. And now that the vent holes are covered, we can go ahead and clean up the extra drips and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, now this next step is simply removing this. It is going to drip, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. It's not gonna be a flooding river or anything like that, but it does, it does happen um, to drip. So we're gonna go ahead and untwist this, set it aside, there we go. And we're going to plug this hole up as quickly as we can so we don't lose all of our new gear case lubricant we just put in there and it's as simple as that tighten this down and boom you have just successfully replaced the gear case lubricant in your mercury outboard go ahead and just wipe off any extra gear case lube that came out and you were done. So just as easy as that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. Check out the other videos. I did not only the gear case lubricant, I did an oil change, I did the thermostat change, and all of those videos can be found on my channel. So thanks for watching and take care.